Oh, uh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Abort, abort. Get your little fingers off that dislike button. Now. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh god, this is hell. Oh my god. Uh, uh, where's the exit? Somewhere here. Oh my god. This is worse than I ever thought. What is going on? <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> oh god, phantom spawning too. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Where, don't you worry, I didn't blow them up. But they deserve it. They deserve it for their prank. <laughs> so what was going on? Well, actually guys, and yeah, let's quickly cruise over to the boat and crew, but they will get there, get their uh, revenge. You can bet, you know, I've got the goat army ready, the screaming goat army. I got a plan with Ren. But yeah, of course, I didn't go through here and blow everything up. <laughs> but um, yeah, there is actually a reason why I caused insane lag over here at boat Well, while I, I maybe went a bit overboard. And that actually was on a test world, of course. And um, yeah, as you know, Botem had severe lag issues all the time, right? And it was a combination of a Minecraft bug and um, entity lag from all the villagers and item frames. So I contacted the hive mind and said, let's fix this problem and yeah, get rid of their lag. And I asked if I can get the region files of their area. So grab world download, grab the region files of their area. And then we went through and did a thorough analysis, uh, like analyzed everything properly with all kinds of crazy NASA tools. And things were figured out and turns out uh, what the Gotham, uh, Botem people were suffering from was actually some lag that was caused by light map updates a really convoluted bug somewhere in minecraft but um, got a mod for them ready that fixes those chunk lags those crazy lag spikes they've been experiencing crossing certain chunk borders and the one if you maybe remember over there at shadow dome i had one of those borders too going back and forth and yeah that is uh, fixed now um, with this mod um, and yeah if you're interested uh, let me know um, and yeah you can tweet at me also then i can link you uh, the mod if you have similar issues and have chunk borders causing you um, crazy lag spikes and yeah then the guys went ahead followed the instructions of the hive mind and removed a bunch of um, item frames and other entities that were roaming about a bit and what do you know now we have like s stable 60 fps over at Botem. yeah and then while this was all going on they come at us and prank us and then there is the next crazy thing this behind me so Mumbo and Green noticed that in their last episode and I can't believe it I went back through several episodes uh, of myself and I haven't noticed it at all but the moon is clearly getting bigger and by now it is gigantic it has been going on for a few weeks now actually uh, go back um, there is some snippets when I do um, uh, you know for example time lapses in West where you can clearly see the moon it's bigger now, compare that size. Look over, this is the normal sun, and then we have this. I am mighty confused by that. People were suspecting, dog, you know, that's you, you got something going on, striking back on the boat and people. I, I am not responsible for this. I am very, very confused by this. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's an Optifine bug or something? Or maybe it's a hidden thing in, in Minecraft? People were speculating on Twitter, uh, saying there is some full moon festival coming up in Sweden and uh, maybe Mojang had, has an Easter egg now or what? But uh, it's also been a full moon all the time. Now looking back, you know you can have uh, half moon and so on in Minecraft as well. It's been this gigantic full moon all the time. So, as of now, no freaking clue what's happening, uh, but it's not me. <coughs> so, there's that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Botem, of course, uh, we need to retaliate, but, you know, 
we cannot go crazy overboard but uh, you know i my mind was going in all kinds of directions and i had this one design i'm quickly gonna show you a little screenshot now so if you look at that you can see this red line going up that is on small scale gui that means this is death lag and the beauty is it is only client side lag and it is a very simple to do small contraption so the hive mind came to me and said here is a little present for green <laughs> and it's like, guys come on and i was really thinking about it a few days and i decided against even showing this design because it could be replicated and it could cause serious issues for all kinds of other servers out there and i think this is one of those technologies that falls under the uh, geneva convention here in minecraft um, this is not for the world but uh, believe me um, yeah that would have been crazy and as i said it's client side so it wouldn't kill the server you could literally um, you know lag out a certain area and it's very localized and doesn't affect server so it's very powerful and i thought no no <laughs> not doing this we have a different plan with the screaming goats i'm waiting for ren he has some real life stuff to do at the moment but yeah we got a lot of stuff to do as well not only in real life um here in our Minecraft life. Today, we are gonna start one of the most insane projects I ever did build-wise. It's a mega build uh, itself, um, just for being a bridge. <laughs> yeah, I have all the re resources gathered here, tons of them. Um, alone, 10 stacks of um, copper is needed. I need a, probably a little bit more, I need to do more farming. I spent three days uh, solidly resource grinding um to yeah get all these uh, together for this project so today as uh, mentioned before we gonna build the bridge the bridge over to the mainland from octagon it's gonna be insane um i cannot wait uh, for you to see this thing it's gonna be epic and i also did a lot of planning for our next project and i was reading through the comments you know when it comes to farming and i asked you guys uh, for feedback you know um what do we want to do first the raid farm or the crazy gold farm and it seems slight advantage for the gold farm you know i have no exact numbers just got feeling reading through all the comments it was uh, over 2500 comments i think or something so yeah but you can get a rough gut feeling um, what people want and people said yeah the dual player crazy insane rng level gold farm would be the next project so we might lay some of the foundation stones for that today too but uh, first of all i'd say um, let's start with our bridge building project let's get the first blocks in place you gotta start somewhere and yeah now it's time is an epic view um, here from yeah the walkway of the bridge obviously uh, a lot of stuff is still missing at the moment we are yeah pretty much hanging in the mid-air right <laughs> no supports there and um, that needs to be built and that is the epic part of it it will look so amazing um, i loved um, how it turned out in the creative world working on it with miles again i'm um, having a lot of fun hanging out with miles at the moment building cool stuff <laughs> yeah, as two, we also kind of think alike when it comes to crazy building ideas and it is really fun anyways here where the bridge ends we will have a spiraling staircase going down connecting to the main road network here leading over to the shadow dome which you can also see there in the distance really really cool 
nice view from here. Here's Octachunk, um, Octagon, the Speed Tube. Only, you know, kind of the Schalke farm is a bit out of render distance. But yeah, I uh, picked black glass floors here to walk on. And then we have these struts coming through, uh, support structure from below. And again, using, you know, copper and the acacia as also kind of a copper building block, like air vents and ducts. And yeah, here in the middle we will have a crazy support structure holding the whole bridge up. And then further down the line, we once again have a little yeah representations of the octagonal portal, I would say. And you come in here and then boom, the portal is there, right? Really cool walk over the bridge and then, then into octagon eventually. I still haven't removed the signs of the prank. <laughs> uh, but hey, we've been making bank. I've been checking the barrels um, while we're here. Let's quickly go in. Whoa, we've been we've been selling stuff. I mean, Octagon is booming at the moment. Look at that. Boom, diamonds here. And then I think copper sales were also... Woo, baby! You know what I mean? Octagon is kicking off. <laughs> the lag couldn't stop us. <laughs> Too powerful. But anyways, if you walk through here, you can see that things are not perfectly lined up, right? Um, here the kind of gate or, or spikes back there are a little bit off. And yeah, indeed, this bridge is actually a little bit diagonal. If you look at it from on top, you can see that, right? We're going off in a diagonal a little bit. And that makes this bridge far more interesting. If you have such a long distance to span, hey, offset it by one ever so often here we, you know here we do the offset by one and then here again and that gives the bridge way more dynamic if you go back it even looks like the bridge has a tiny uh, arc going on right as if the surface was not flat and that is just because of this optical illusion that we have this little bend in there and it really does wonders for long straight shots like that it's just a, a little bit offset and yeah creates this amazing um, view and yeah now um, I want to take a little bit of a break from bridge building um, we want to head over to our industrial district and we want to scope out a location for our mega gold farm um, I don't want to build it here I want to build it over at industrial we also need a, a specific location in the nether for that and I think I spotted a few chunks over there but yeah let's head over and uh, double check all right, we're over here. Um, this is where the nether side of the obsidian farm is, right? The crazy wither farm we got going on with the two loose withers. And um, yeah, over here, I found a really good spot. I have the chunk view on at the moment with F3G. And yeah, I'm checking these chunks, but they look good. I marked them out here a little bit. It's a two by two chunk area, so uh, 32 by 32. And it is all nether wastes. I'm checking, you can see biome top left um, above local difficulty. You can see that biome Minecraft nether wastes. And that is what we want. We want no other biome here. Because yeah, in the nether wastes only piglin will spawn. No other mobs, zorglins, hoglins, moglins, you name them. <laughs> we don't want them. We want pigmen. Because pigmen drop that juicy, juicy gold and a lot of XP. Um, for the matter, this farm will actually push out so much XP that <laughs> it will be too much. So we have to burn it. Otherwise, we will lag out. <laughs> yeah, you heard right. We're going to burn XP. Yes, and you can burn XP. Anyways, here is where the farm will be. So let's grab ourselves some Obsidiano. And um, yeah, we got to mark it out. So our portals need to stay inside here. So now we will have slits like that. And it's going to go up uh, quite a bit, 120 blocks of portalness. And yeah, we g go for spawn spaces in here. Spawn rates will be brutal because we have a player sitting up there. That's why we got to run it twice. And the other player got to be in the overworld and quickly kill as fast as they can. <laughs> because the output is going to be nuts. And yeah, this is uh, the layout now for the farm so they're gonna be portal slices uh, three high portals all the way up and um, yeah two chunks wide actually so two by two chunks so there is a lot of spawning space then in the end and in total this thing will eat up like uh, around 60,000 
um, obsidian, I think. That's why we made a crazy obsidian farm. So yeah, I'm gonna start building here a little bit. I think I'm gonna build one slice and then, you know, we have to copy these slices, offset by one, all the way to over there. But yeah, one slice um, all the way up uh, until we have to go, I guess, and then you can gauge what a huge project this will be as well. All right. So yeah, that is quite a big of an obsidian structure. And we're gonna build it 31 times more. We're gonna stack it in an offset next to each other. And we can already see, just in this small area by me standing up there, and I will have a better AFK spot later, we get a lot of spawns in there. And when spawns will happen in there, when all these portals are lit, and linked to a portal in the overworld, they will instantly teleport there. And if you can see already, you know, with um, less than ideal conditions, we get a lot of spawns in there. Imagine how this will scale up if we have more and more spawn spaces. Um, this thing will be absolutely mental. <laughs> but yeah, it will be a long grindy process to build that. Um, next thing I'm gonna set up the second layer and then while going up already I will light up portals more and more and then we will have this gigantic crazy farm here. This is, uh, you know, output wise um, yeah, we're talking about a hundred thousand ingots per hour or something like that in the end and uh, six thousand um, ingots or something. So, yeah, it will give us so much gold that we will not know what to do with it. Hey, you calm down up there. <laughs> well, to make sure everything works perfectly over there at the gold farm, there will be some crazy portal linking and it's got to be very, very precise so we can make sure we don't miss out on any mobs, but I think we should be good. Um, I have everything calculated in the test world. Should be able to pull it off, but it's gonna be cool. I can't wait when we turn it on for the first time. And then there's mobs literally gonna rain down. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Anyways, I'm over here now back at the bridge. And yeah, I've been spending almost four days pretty much grinding out all the resources for the bridge. And yeah, now I'm pretty good to go building wise. I mean, everything is here. I see some people here and they're asking how do hermits organize their big build project and is there any tips and tricks I can just say get yourself a material list going and gather the materials beforehand so you can really make use of you being in a good building flow you don't want to stop for a massive resource grind in between trying to get more blackstone or whatever you need try to make sure to, you have everything in place that sure helps a lot yeah and now um, what we need to put in place is obviously something that holds this massive bridge structure up that at the moment is just pretty much floating magically there. Well, it's Minecraft, we could leave it like that, but we also want to create a landmark. I already like the shadow in the water of the bridge there, but yeah, it's got to be a landmark built, right? If somebody comes through here, they got to know, whoa, these people that live here are crazy. <laughs> You know, something along those lines. So I'd say I'll get going and let's see. Let's see what this will become. <laughs> Over at the Evil Emporium right now, I brought our pass. Wait, where is it? I didn't bring it. Ah, there it is. Staking pass number 16. So last time we screwed it up, we were confused which boost was assigned to us. Um, but now it's time to invest into derp coin staking. We should have a second pass somewhere downstairs waiting for us. So here we can buy normal derp coin. And yeah, I found this when I was looking around Octagon. I totally forgot about that. We have a lot of diamond ore from our uh, mining operations still. So it should be no problem, you know, to buy a lot of derp coin with it. At least we need five stacks of um, normal derp coin to, you know, put them in one of the stacking devices. But we have an additional pass. So in total, we want to buy 10 stacks of normal derp coin. So, um, yeah, I think this should be 
definitely enough diamond wise and then we see how that goes but you know remember when we did our meeting and yeah we had these diamonds from the drilling operation I actually talked to Ren about it and said we should invest those into derp coin and we never did and now it might be a bit yeah late to get in um, to buy more like that uh, but I think the price is still pretty decent and um, we should be able to yeah generate more if we get in early so okay and it's got a bunch of diamonds okay here's derp coin a normal derp coin the moment it is sold for two diamonds for 20. <clears throat> so it's gonna be relatively expensive uh, actually to fill that all up let's see so we need five stacks so this is six diamonds already spent here oh man whoa this is gonna cost Okay, I'm, g I'm just gonna buy and stock up and um, get our derp coin together so we can start heavily investing. Hopefully this pays off. Oh, oh man, <laughs> premium derp coin. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, I think it was down here, right? Uh, Derp coin stacking. Yeah. This is just a cool area. Um, da -da, let's go down into our vault. All right. So we had vault 16. Are I numbered? Vault 16. Yes. And um, Zizuma said inside the vault he has the second pass for us. Let's do this. Boom. Look. Derp key. Ah, yeah. Another derp key. Okay. I think that is what we needed. Okay. And now we're going to stack this thing. Boom. Okay. So now our first boost is activated. Fully stocked. And yeah, now I think we... Um, how did we do that last time? We take the derp key. Yeah. Derp coin staking instructions here. We need to put the derp coin here buy keys below oh yeah we got the key yeah oh, we need to do oh yeah here here somewhere here um okay maybe we can pick this one all right here we need to toss in the derp key i think and then we get the derp pass yep okay staking pass number three is ours as well all right here all right boom cool we got the pass back Okay, and load that thing fully. And now, oh, did we already make random derp coin profit? Let's actually check how how fast are we getting profits here. Okay, this is full. Oh, one derp coin trickled in already. Okay, 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 nice. Okay, now we're big big time investors here. I'm contemplating if I should buy more boosts. I need to need to talk with friend about that did you follow me back <laughs> follow you back through the never <laughs> i was just over at evil emporium investing into derp coin big time ah and all of a sudden you're here that's kind of spooky <laughs> yeah i mean i, I came yeah. over to see what you were building look at this yeah. bridge over troubled water you know what i mean yeah <laughs> it's Let's gonna see. be epic <laughs> so yeah um Good you're here. Um, I guess, you know, it's going to also please your master, Evil X. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we need derp coin, right? And um, That's what Evil X likes to hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need people to easily get derp coin here. Because, as you know, um, made this deal with Javin, right? Ah. We only want to sell uh, Schalke boxes for derp coin, server-wide. And yes. I have to say, people here are using derp coin. Um, but I think they would use it even more and even buy more, especially Schalke boxes potentially, if we had some sort of, you know, exchange. Yeah, exchange or versa, you know, people throw in diamonds and, you know. And they get Derf coin. It makes a lot of sense because yeah. if you come over here and you're like, oh my god, like it's cheaper if I buy this stuff with Derp coin or exactly. I can only get Schalke boxes with Derp coin, you don't want them want to spend your time figuring out where you need to go. Yeah. Mm. So. It's going to be a great deal for Evil X. You can tell him he will be happy with the 50% diamond uh, split we will make, right? Yeah, well, 50, hang on, 50%. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a little on the steep side, Doc. Why? Come on, man. It's it's here. It's on our property. Um, otherwise, you know, those drop coin might never be bought. Come on, man. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm a generous guy, but I think Evil X would be upset if I didn't haggle. Well, let's say let's say twenty five percent. That's you know, but it's very tricky to do. Let's say if it's two diamonds, how are you gonna give me twenty five percent? You have to wait until we get more diamonds. Uh, that's so not how it works. Divides. Quick payouts, you know. That is what we expect from this turf coin stuff. <laughs> mm. Come on. Fifty percent. You're driving a hard bargain here, Doc. I mean, otherwise, you know, people might have to fly over there, and you know, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, it's just so easy to divide, right? Like fifty-fifty okay. split. Nah, nah. If you buy, if you buy another staking pass, <laughs> you, if you invest more in dirt coin, I'll go for fifty-fifty with you. Uh, uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I think that's, that's a fair good. deal. That's a fair deal for sure. Fifty-fifty. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Um, Feel free to set it up. I don't know here in the walls. If you look behind oh, here, oh, the walls. Yeah, yeah there's. Well, I was, I was just about to say. Yeah. Like you wouldn't want some sort of ugly pop-up stand in the middle of this area, and I think you know, I think I want to do like a redstone contraption. Yeah. yeah. Let's make, let's make buying derp coin fun. Yeah, there should be enough space here. I mean, if you look in here, right, it's all, all empty, hollow space, and there's nothing Ooh. in the way. So well, pretty sure you can fit some some redstoneage in here. Um, yeah, there's plenty of space for that. Right, right. So customers will make their way on in, and the first thing they're greeted with is a dirt coin exchange. I think Evil X is going to be very happy with this. Yeah, uh, I hope Bren is going to be happy as well. Hey, but hey, fix the wall. <laughs> Have you not told him yet? <laughs> well, uh, not yet. Kind of. Wait, with that's me fixing your wall. <laughs> Did you pick up all the? Rent's gonna kill me. I didn't pick me. up any. Wait, I didn't oh, pick up any of the derps. Oh, no, they oh. they, fell, they fell in. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a new one. I have to fix this. If Ren sees this yeah. hole, he's gonna be like, okay. "Dog, the octagon is under attack." You know, he's 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 on the panicky side here and there. You know. Yeah, right, he's right, he's right. traumatized by the boats, right? Yeah, man. I mean, and and there was me. You were destroying all the boats, and I wandered in. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, oh, let me be nice and put these back down again." I had no idea about the prank. Yeah, oh, I was like, "What is he doing?" Okay, putting the boats back. All right, it's maybe on their side but you were not right mm. did they hit I, you too I was not involved all at right. all I'm completely innocent hey, they, hit, they, they hit big eye crew too you know that right I know I've seen the devastation it's yeah. pretty I think they got hit worse <laughs> I want to strike back way. you know I'm breeding screaming goats and I'm going to hit them with them <laughs> that will be very irritating <laughs> yeah I I was almost uh, you know trying to go a little bit further I had this leg leg bomb I wanted to use but then I thought uh -huh. of you and didn't but uh, oh yeah how thoughtful <laughs> yeah thank you right I mean I'm being affected already by the amount of boats over at the uh, big eye cruise so oh, I appreciate right. that that's right <laughs> all right anyways um, yeah feel free to hook it up whenever yeah, Either I'll fix this hole there. in the wall and I'll get it built soon. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll <laughs> fix the hole, don't you worry. Oh, are the blocks in there? Oh, They're yeah. in here. Yeah, they are. <laughs> All right. Sweet. All right, cheers, Doc. Later. It's ginormous. It's almost intimidating. 
Man, I've been building here for hours and hours and hours. It's been a massive project. But yeah, the moon has not changed. It's the next day now and I'm at it again. A few hours already. And since I'm on, a server restart happened and the moon stayed like that. So right now I'm really confused. I took off Optifine. I don't know. <laughs> Thinking maybe it's an Optifine bug. But nope, it stayed like that. That's somewhat... I don't know. Have you... Have you heard of such a bug? It's really weird. It's definitely bigger. I'm not, you know, I <laughs> like in comparison to the sun, when the sun comes up, it's by far smaller. Huh. Weird. Anyways, yeah, here with the bridge project, we're making massive, massive, massive advancements. <laughs> we're getting there, but yeah, I'm at it for hours and hours and hours. Um, as you can see, um, I have a walker in here now. Walker is sitting there. Let's let's take in, you know, the feel walking below it. Whoa, it's massive. It's more intricate as some of the other walkers because, yeah, we could scale it up even more. So it's pretty, pretty huge. And kind of the idea is at the moment, you know, obviously we need more. Um, we need suspensions for the actual bridge. But, um, yeah, the idea is that walker kind of came over here and then you know established the bridge in front of octagon like a crazy machine landing and then extending the bridge and then it will hold it with gigantic arms and then afterwards you know after the bridge is in place the thing powers down to save energy that's why the uh, you know the power uh, display is not on and there's no beam coming from it so at the moment i guess this thing would be powered down law wise because, uh, let's face it, most of the power antennas we got, we got... What the actual... What was that sound effect? What? Bro. Never heard... What was that? Was that a cave sound? Also it felt... Anyways, <laughs> um, where were we? Yeah, so that thing is powered down and just sitting there, right, and holding the bridge. And now next stage pretty much would be to create gigantic beams holding the thing up, right, the whole bridge right now. And, and I think the frost walker effect with the um, giant walker standing in it turned out really great as well. <laughs> Froze itself in place there pretty much. It's all dark, you know, uh, powered down. And yeah, now we need to build some arms or something holding the whole bridge in place. Um, so it all makes sense uh, right now. In theory, maybe, you know, if it attached the bridge, it could hold it. But I guess, you know, to make it more realistic, you can see I have two copper chunks here on the outsides, here and there. Roughly there, I marked out where the arms will come down. And then this thing will hold the whole bridge up. So, yeah, this is the last stage now of our building project. Man, look at that moon. That's just gnarly. So let's get to it. To it. Let's hammer it out the final stages of this insane bridge building project. Let's go. I was waiting for this moment to be able to start on walking over the bridge. That's always the coolest thing, you know, if you build these massive, yeah, suspension bridge, bridges and, yeah, if it's held up by the most insane Kraken ever. Holy moly. Okay, that feels really impressive, walking up towards Octagon. 
Wow, look at them legs coming down there. Man, this turned out great. Oh, who that? What's that? Sizuma White? Maybe he started work already uh, over there. You know, the Derpcoin selling device. Who knows? Wait, I'll, I'll activate my voice. Test, test. Okay, just in case. Hello! Just in case he's near. <laughs> oh yeah, I think X is working there already. Oh, he just left. Derpcoin exchange coming soon. Oh yeah, that is cool. Okay, keep your eyes out for his episode. Probably you will see it there already. I have to wait a little bit as well. Maybe I'll check on later and see how it looks. Really excited. But yeah, the bridge turned out absolutely fantastic. Wow, with the bend, with the curve. Look at it. Wow. Dude, <laughs> I'm so happy. Chains going up, holding the whole thing up in a weird way. So I envision, you know, this whole crazy walker came down and then extended the bridge, you know, and then folding out the arms, holding it up. Yeah. Should also be spawn proof everywhere, all, all on top of the bridge arms and everything. That is always a bit of a finicky job. Making sure, you know, you have everything perfectly spawn proofed. But I think we, we managed to do that. So back here towards the village, I had this spiraling um, staircase design kind of, you know, to make sure. Um, because, yeah, well, <laughs> if it's a bridge leading to nowhere, right, it's not really a bridge. And it would come down right here. I have to see, um, wait for Ren what plans he has to build there, depending what plans Ren has, you know, we will um, kind of meander down there. Yeah, but it really, really turned out great. I'm really happy. All kinds of good angles. <laughs> uh, man. Yep. <coughs> Pretty pleased this is a landmark build for sure. Wow. Cool stuff, man. Yep. Sometimes you just have to stand there and look at things and be in awe. Unreal how cool this turned out. Uh. What the actual... What was that? This was the second time. It seems to be relatively regular. I have to... What is going on? Man. Are we doing something illegal here because we're building this giant walker without really having a blueprint from it? There's definitely some weird stuff going on on the server, but look at this. Oh. If that is not an epic landmark build, I don't know what. Walker stands there, you know, <laughs> bridges um, get pushed out, uh, and then rests in place. Wow. Okay, let's look towards the other side. If you see when the when the when the moon comes up, ooh, <laughs> oh man, wow. That turned out even better than I expected. I'm very pleased with this. I hope Ren will like it. And yeah, next time, as I said, we take care of the final connection to the mainland here. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this whole moon situation. It's definitely very weird. Here you could see it. XP just went to bed. Look at the size difference. I'm getting concerned. Did we do something for our crazy game-breaking stuff we've been doing all season long? Huh. Who knows? <laughs> I'll keep on building. That's all I'm, I'm concerned about. We have plenty of stuff to do. Next episode we definitely continue with the gold farming project. There is going to be a lot of obsidian block placing and portal lighting and portal sinking ahead of us. And um, yeah, of course, we need to finish the connection to the mainland here with our bridge. And lastly, 
when I'm looking at <laughs> the super cool terraforming, oh, there's some scaffolding to remove still. I really, really want to do the terraforming around the Schalke farm as well. <laughs> that definitely needs to be done now. Now I got the hang of it, uh, creating these ice um, structures here for the frost walker. I think, yeah, we could do that pretty easily. I was just unsure about the look, but I'm really pleased how that turned out. All right, so guys, thank you as usual for watching. Thank you for subscribing recently so much. We are well on our way to somewhat, I don't know, at some point crack a million subscribers, which is still uh, beyond any realms of imagination to me, you know, I never chased the numbers so much on YouTube, but if you're slowly creeping up on that one million, it is, seems to be some sort of special moment. <laughs> yeah, indeed. All right, so with a last look at our epic bridge here, let me know what you think about it. I see you in the next episode. Bye!